I'm Eric Davis and we're going to demonstrate a transfixed modified Miller's knot, the one that Arvitz uses to ligate the spermatic cord in equine castrations. In order to learn this technique and to practice it, you're going to need a pair of needle drivers. You need some suture material with a needle on it. The suture material should be some sort of uh, a braided material because we use Vicryl rather than practicing with uh, monofilament which has different um, handling characteristics. And then you need some sort of plastic tube. Um, this is um, latex tubing. It's fairly flexible and we simply have it attached to a board that's covered with a, uh, a huck towel. So it's, it's pretty simple, inexpensive. You need these supplies. You need to look at the video. You need to look at the video several times. And then you need to practice while watching the video. Stop it repeatedly. The important thing is to do the series of suture manipulations in making the Miller's knot and the transfixation correctly. Don't cut corners. If we say hold the suture material two inches beyond your thumb and forefinger, that means do just exactly that. Don't try to cut corners. Do it right every time. Do it very slowly at first and then you'll be able to pick up speed and become more efficient later. We want the suture material at the end of it about two or three inches past the thumb and forefinger so that we have control. Slide the instrument underneath the cord, open it, close it on the end of the suture material, pull it back, grasp it with the thumb and forefinger, repeat the motion, grasp with the thumb and forefinger, reach through the two loops, grab the end of the suture material, And then pull it tight. That can be done either by tilting the needle drivers or utilizing the thumb to pull it tight. Then we're going to put a half hitch on top of that. We're going to drive the needle right through the middle of the tube, distal to the Miller's knot. One, two, because this is going to be a surgeon's knot. Pull evenly with both hands. Again, pull it really tight. Repeat. Not jerking that suture material and loosening the original throw. Put a second knot on there. And then a third and a fourth. 